Good morning, everyone. I just finished doing my live with Miss Olivia, and I wanted to ask you guys if you guys watched it and if you enjoy watching it. Hey guys, I'm Miss O, and today we will have a very special guest. Um, I I have right now Miss Universe Thailand, and then we will invite her right now. Hi, I am. Uh, hi. Hello, Stan. How are you? Thank you for joining. And also, everyone is here is coming up, and I will have Miss Universe Thailand with me right now, Miss Amanda Ogdam. So I'm excited. I'm gonna invite her. Okay, hold on, Amanda. Let's see. I'm excited to have her. It will be a great chat. Okay, hold on. There you go. So let's just wait for her to come in on the screen. Hey. Guys. Hey Amanda! Hi everyone! Sadiqa! Hi Amanda! Thank you for joining me tonight. Yes, it's a very special uh, evening and morning to you there in Thailand, right? Yeah. Good morning. <laughs> you are so pretty. I've been following you. And then um, I'm uh, for your fans, I am Olivia Kiro and or Miss O, and I'm the official skincare for Miss Universe this year and last year, Amanda. And I cannot wait to take care of you. Oh my gosh, I have to comment on your skin right now, even through the live. It's amazing. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. You are. You also have very beautiful skin. So I cannot wait to, you know, get my get, uh, You know, I cannot wait to have my products in your hands so you can start using them. Glow also. But you're already beautiful. This can make you more glowing. So do you like that? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Because I do think that the skin is the the foundation that makes you look so beautiful and it makes you glow. So yes. I cannot wait to try your products. Yeah, amazing things. Oh, okay. Thank you so much. I, 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 you sent me a message that you've heard about my secret glow before. Tell me more about that. I've heard about your secret glow mask before, and it's through everyone that's around me. Some of my friends that are in the states, they mm -hmm. said that it's really good through all the comments and everyone as well. But I haven't. Have the chance to try, and I told you that I would love to try when I go to the states, and I cannot wait to try it. Yes, of course. So I'm gonna ask you a few questions because you have a lot of fans, and there, you have a lot of fans, and also international fans. Do you know, Amanda, that in the Philippines, the fans that you have is unbelievable. They love you. They they're also rooting for you, and I'm excited about that. And I'm gonna ask you a few questions about your background and uh, what what excites you and what made you join the pageant. So my first question is: Your father is Dutch Canadian, is that correct? Yes, my my father is Dutch Canadian, and my last name Optum is actually Dutch. My grandparents are from Holland, but they actually migrated to Canada during. The World War II uh, towards the end, so that's why uh, my dad has Canadian passport, and that's why that's why I say I'm half Canadian, but really I am Dutch blood. I'm half yeah. Dutch blood. Yes. See, I've done my research, right? So. Oh yes, <laughs> so well. <laughs> Your mom is also a Chinese Thai. Is that correct? Yes, my mother is Chinese Thai, but very very small part Chinese, and she grew up. In Sukhandri, it's a province very close to Bangkok. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. So uh, what made you decide to represent Thailand in the Miss Universe pageant over Netherlands or Canada? Since you're half and half, you're pretty much uh, like half Dutch, half Poland, uh, and then half Chinese and half Thai. So what made you decide to represent Thailand in this matter? Well, it's because I was born and raised here in Thailand, so I'm very close to my Thai family and also the Thai culture. And right. when the opportunity of uh, competing in this universe came up, I have a team here in Thailand five years ago. So to me, I didn't even think about joining the Dutch or the Canadian pageant, but it was all the Thai pageant because of the backbone with the team behind me. And also with the fans here in Thailand, we're so passionate about pageantry and especially Miss Universe. So, I mean, it was, it was just Thailand all the way. Yeah, it was always 100% towards Thailand and it was never any, hasn't been anything else. 
Yes, uh, th- and then la- that being said, uh, a lot of like fans in Thailand are very, very passionate about pageantry. What is what is it like um, in the pageants that are so appealing to Thais? The pageantry, I think, it's just when when you think of a pageant here in Thailand and when you watch it, the women that are competing, they're so passionate in what they're doing. They're so driven and. Their goal is set, and uh-huh. you can see, and they're so inspiring. Even when I competed in Miss Universe Thailand, to be on um, girls that were competing, I felt very inspired and very empowered because all of the women were so driven to go and work towards their goals. Yes. So then, I think that the fans, when they watch pageantry, they feel inspired, and mm-hmm. it's something to. It's almost like the Olympics here, you know. Like it's like a sport Olympics, so everyone's like waiting to watch. And I remember because of the time difference here in Thailand, the Miss Universe competition would be around seven six a.m. and What? everyone in Thailand would be awake by four a.m. ready I to watch. Wow. Yes, even even last year I woke up at. Like five a.m., just you know, being prepared and ready to watch. It's just something that we all really look forward to because we feel inspired and empowered every time we watch it to see all the women just working towards their goals. There's nothing better than that. Yeah, when you were watching the Miss Universe last year, as you said, were you expecting that you were be you will be the next representative of Thailand? Not at all. To be honest, not at all. Even the other day, I was just speaking to my dad, and I was like, Dad. Who would have thought? Yeah. <laughs> not at all, not at all. But I feel grateful and so fortunate to have this opportunity and to be where I am today, for sure. Exactly, and I know you will represent your country very well. You are not only beautiful from the inside; you're also beautiful from the outside. So I'm very excited to get to know you before the pageant. Yeah. Before. In Florida, right? So um, I heard that you also a degree. You have a degree in business management, right? And you are uh, like an honor honor roll. Like you graduated with honors. So I'm very proud of you. Thank you. You really did your research, didn't you? <laughs> Thank you so much. Yes, you you graduated with honors. You're in the business area. Like, what kind of business, um, like or industry that you wanna be eventually wanna be involved in? Oh, there's so many things I want to be involved in. And going back to my university degree, you know, I actually went in with the thought of going into psychology. Hmm. And yes, I really wanted to do psychology because I studied it in high school, and I thought it was very interesting. And when I got to uni, and in the first year, you're supposed to take all the basic course mm-hmm. for every subject, and one of them was economics. And What? I thought, oh, I I don't know. But when I studied it, there's Something really interesting about it because I really like the idea that every single question has one correct answer, and you're there to provide the explanation and try to find out that one correct answer. And wow. I just felt like it was something very challenging, and I love challenges, so that's why I changed from psychology to economics and business. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, so I came back. To Thailand after university in Canada, and I thought, okay, I need to do something with my certificate and mm-hmm. my education. When I came back to Phuket, there are these fabric okay. called b- batik batik. Yeah, uh, it's actually it actually came from Indonesian as well, but because of the southern of Thailand, we right. the culture is very similar. Mm-hmm. So I came back and I thought. I see my mother and my aunties always wearing these type of fabrics. Why don't I turn it into something more fashionable so that the younger generation can use it as well? Because it is a culture; it's a fabric that's been around for so long that it would be unfortunate to see it go away because the younger generation don't really wear it. Right. So I took those fabric and turned them into bucket hats and. Tote bags as well because we were trying to not use pas- plastic at all. Uh-huh. And yes, and, and it was very successful. And yeah. I think that yes, and I think that I really used my degree very well. That that's amazing. So where did you study? How come you speak English very very fluently and eloquently? Oh, thank you so much. Um, I studied 
born and grew up here in Thailand, but uh, very fortunate to have a father that speaks English to me at home. Mm-hmm. So when when I'm at home, the household, I would speak English to my father. Mm-hmm. I would speak Thai to my mother, and then I have a younger brother, and I would speak both languages. Wow, so that's so, how I be- become very fluent in both languages. That's that's beautiful. So basically, bilingual, Miss Amanda. Thank you so much. So when when did you move to the states? Oh, I moved to the states when I was 26 years old. So I came here because I was brokenhearted in the Philippines. So I decided to come here and then just you know and pursue my passion. So basically, I'm like 40 plus years old right now, and and yeah, so I'm living uh, a life that I love, like what you are doing right now. So I'm very very proud of you. You are pursuing your dreams, Miss Amanda. So I'm very very happy about that. First of all, you don't look over 40. And Ooh. second of all, you, your story is amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So uh, another question of mine, like, um, like wh- what is it about? Like, I, I heard that you are having, helping people in Thai that are uh, changing the perception of beauty in Thailand. Like, can you explain how this is so? Like, you want to, like, perception of beauty in Thailand. How, how do you want to um, come across on that? Uh, when, when you're in Thailand, the definition of beauty is always, um, light skin, long hair, you know, you have to be very skinny. And I think that just me winning, Mm -hmm. I don't have light skin color. My skin Mm -hmm. color is quite dark and quite tan. Mm -hmm. And I just think that we all need to explore the different kinds of beauties because beauty is in the eyes of its beholder. However, we need to learn to appreciate every beauty because every single person that was born into this world, we all have beauty, not only just the exterior, but also interior. So we need to really get to know one another and explore what they can offer and all the beauties that's inside and how that's glowing and for everyone to see. A beautiful answer. And then... Very, very, you're very beautiful. My impression of you, you're very pretty, you're very smart. You have it all together. Like, what do you want the people to know more about you? Like, who is uh, Miss Amanda, Miss Universe Thailand? Like, what, what do you want people to know about you? The- what do I want people to know about me? Right. Well, you know, even from when I won Miss Universe Thailand, people, people always say, oh, pretty, pretty, pretty. But I want to let you know that there's so much more to me mm-hmm. than just the outside. I'm passionate about advocating for mental health. That's wow. why I came up with the Happy Listen campaign. Because, I... believe it or not, I actually suffered with an eating disorder back when I was in university. Mm-hmm. So I overcame the hardest time of my life mm-hmm. with not loving myself. Mm-hmm. I had almost no self-confidence. I did not love myself at all. That's why I let myself get to that place mentally and physically. So I just want to let everyone know that we can overcome anything in life. Right. And to explore all the different parts of yourself. Love yourself. Self-confidence is very important. That, that's something I want to advocate for the younger girls too because with social media, we can get so lost in comparing ourselves to others. Yes. But what's most important is loving yourself and building that self-confidence and self, self-esteem up. And know that whatever dreams you have, you can achieve it with hard work and perseverance. I totally agree. Not only that, is Amanda, like what you're telling us right now is do not be afraid to tell your story, right? So everyone has a story to tell. How they overcome is... Uh, it's a way to inspire more people, right? So what you're doing right now, advocating about mental health, which I knew know about, and I'm I'm happy that you were able to, you know, overcome that kind of uh, that part of uh, experience in your life. Thank yes. you so much. Because in the beginning, when I overcame this, it was something that I kept to myself for a very long time. I didn't want to talk about it mm-hmm. because I thought that it would make me weak to speak and it would it would make me take me to a position where I'm very vulnerable but Mm -hmm. I came to a conclusion that you know what this is my story my story is also important and if I don't say this now and tell my story then the other younger girls that are suffering 
they yes. would know that they can ask for help, that there are help available. So that's why I decided, okay, I'm going to go with my story. I'm going to tell the world and everyone can know that they can seek help if they need it. Wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. I love your answer. Then yeah. also, like, on, uh, the the uh, pageant is coming up very, very fast, you know? Before we know it, it's going to be around the corner. Like, how do you do your pageant? Oh, my God. I'm so excited. I cannot believe that it's all happening so soon. Yes, because yes. When, when I got Miss Universe Thailand, it was a very long wait. And when they announced the date, everything mm -hmm. just went by so fast. And I'm flying in, like, five days now. It's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> but, um... I did many preparations to all the Thai people that came in together and wanted to help me. I did my Q&A, okay. learned more about global issues so that I have more knowledge when I'm on stage to speak about different topics. And also because pageantry, you need to look beautiful on stage as well. So I learned how to do my performance on the runway. I learned how to walk with the national costume because... My national costume is the Siamese fighting fish. Wow. So, yes, yeah, so I actually studied the fish in the tank so that I can look at how, how it swims, how they swim, how they move. So wow. then I know I want to be just like it when I'm on stage, you know. Unbelievable. Unbel I cannot wait. Like, for sure, all your fans will be so into this, you know. So, um, I'm Miss Amanda, like, what do you do to, you know, aside from preparation? And then, uh, have you packed your stuff already? I'm sure you have a lot of luggages to bring to Florida. Like, who's going with you? Look, with my... Uh, I've started packing. <laughs> <laughs> it's not finished yet. Right. And I still have a couple of things I need to buy, you know. I have still have... Here and there, I feel like with packing, you're never really finished within a day. It's exactly. an ongoing thing. I woke up this morning and I thought, oh, I forgot this. I need to go buy something. And it's, it's, a, it's something like this. But I think that I'll be done just right before I need to leave. <laughs> yeah, so excited to see you and meet you. Maybe we can have lunch or dinner in Florida, right? Uh -huh. Yes, of course. Yeah, we can bond more. You know what, Miss Amanda? I've been to Thailand more than 10 times. That's why I love Thai people. I love the food, the culture. The, because, you know, my, my, my mom has a clothing business. So the, we buy from Thailand to bring to the Philippines. You know how it is in, uh, what is it called? Uh, there's a lot of places in Thailand where you can buy clothings, right? Um, and then uh, I'm so happy when I'm in Thailand because of the culture, the people, they're very, very nice. Especially the food, Miss Amanda, you know, the food in Thailand, you resist that. The food is amazing. Yes, yes. And also um, the food uh, and also there's a lot of culture that is, um, you guys are very rooted with your culture, which I really, really love, right? Yes, of course. Um, what, what's your favorite Thai food? Oh, the tofu, 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 the pad thai, the pad si Oh, so good. Oh, you like noodles, huh? I, I, yeah, I love noodles. And I love, you know, you, you guys do the best chicken barbecue ever, right? Um, yes, we do. <laughs> and you know what's my fried what? chicken is also good with the sticky rice. Have you tried that? Oh, yeah, with the mango. Oh, mango. it's so good. <laughs> Yeah, when you talk about food, I'm into food. So that's why I, I you know, um, very close to my heart is the uh, Thai people are very, very close to my heart because I've been there so many times and I've seen how, you know, people are very, very helpful. Because when you go there, you know, we speak English and then they really try to communicate with you to help to help the foreigners or, you know, people that travels to Thailand. So, yeah, so I cannot wait to go to your place and, you know, have fun with you there. I will take you around. Have you been to Phuket? I haven't been to Phuket because oh. I, you are from Phuket. Is that correct? I, I am from Phuket. I will take you around. I actually haven't been... I've never been to the Philippines, but I went to school with Rachel Peters. Oh! Yes, I actually went to high school with her back in Phuket. Oh! And she always posts pictures on the beach and on the islands. I must say, I'm an island girl and oh, it looks magical. So I think that when all the COVID-19 is starting to die down, I will definitely go to the 
Philippines. It would be my first destination. Yes. Yeah. Uh, next time you come to Thailand, I will take you around. I will take you to all the authentic Thai restaurants to try oh. everything out. Oh my, I'm so excited about that. So, um, Miss Amanda, what can you say before we end this conversation? Like, what is your message to your fans, to your Thai people, to the Filipino fans, international fans? What is your message to them? What is my message to them? Honestly, I would, I just want to say thank you to everyone. Mm -hmm. Last year, if you told me that I would be in this position right here, I would have told you that you're crazy. But because <laughs> I am here right now. Yes. And I'm so grateful and appreciative to wake up every single morning and having all the love and support. And I read the messages every day. And that's something that gives me power every day when I wake up to be ready and go through my day. And I just want to say thank you so much. And I want to let you all know that I'm going to the Miss Universe competition with the mindset that I'm going to enjoy every single moment that I'm there. I'm going to be so happy because this is once in a lifetime opportunity that a lot of people don't get to have. So I'm, I feel grateful and fortunate and I'm going to make this count. Yeah. So I love, it. I love every single thing that you said. Remember when Miss Thailand, Pawin Sueda, is that correct? Is that uh, her, the Miss uh, Universe Thailand last year? Pawin Sueda, is that how you say Pawin it? Sueda or Fasai. Fasai, there you go. Yeah. A lot of people like dropped her off at the airport. Did you see that? Like, so oh my god, people. so many people. But, but you know, this year we're trying to with COVID nineteen and everything. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. That's how how much uh, you know Thai people support the pageantry of Miss Universe. Yeah. Oh, like you cannot even walk in the airport anymore because the people are so packed. So, you know, I know that all of them wants to support you. I, I know all of them wants to be there for you because of the COVID situation. We totally understand that. But, you know, know in my heart, uh, Miss Amanda, that on stage, I'll be, you know, uh, I, I'll be praying that God's grace will be with you at that day, that you will shine on stage and that people will see how beautiful you are from the inside and out. And I'm just so proud of you, Miss Amanda. Oh. Very, very proud Thank of you. Thank you so much. Thank you. So yeah. that, means, that means so much to me. Yeah. And I just want to say that your story with starting the O Skin Company is very inspiring. Mm, and it's so amazing that the younger girls can have you to look up to and know that they can achieve any dreams if they put hard work and perseverance. So that's you. exactly. And failure, remember, failure is part of success, right? Remember? Yes. 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 Yeah, so just go with where, just go and have this navigation where you want your dreams to be. And yes. then, you know, uh, go get the go, go get the dreams. You know how they are saying, Miss the reach for the stars so if you fall short you reach the moon you know <laughs> that's perfect that's what a great saying <laughs> at least you still fall in the moon right so it's still yes, exactly yeah so um I, I thank you so much for this opportunity you're very young there's so much ahead of you your future is beautiful miss amanda i can totally see that and uh thank you so much for your time today and so uh, so how do you say that again? Padika. Padika, Miss Amanda. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye. Bye. Thank you for all the fans that are watching. God bless everyone. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye, Ka. Bye bye, Ka.